Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to bring back the safely remove hardware icon that the device can now safely be removed from the computer that you would normally get down in your bottom system tray when injecting different USB devices and whatnot back in the day. So if you notice that this device icon is not coming up when you're trying to remove your USB flash drives and whatnot, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by right clicking on a blank area of our taskbar. And then you want to go ahead and left click on taskbar settings. Okay, so now we're in the taskbar. Now you want to scroll down to get to notification area and then select, select which icons appear on the taskbar. You want to find the Windows Explorer one, which there shouldn't be too many in here. It says safely remove hardware and inject media. You want to toggle this to the on position. So just toggle one time. And there you go, guys. We see we have the icon down here. So if you hover over it, it says safely remove hardware and inject media. If you right click on it, you got your classic options that you would have before. So pretty straightforward, guys. Do about as able to help you out. And once you're done with this, just close out of it. So that should have hopefully resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing problems, maybe the service is turned off. So I'm going to open up the start menu, type in services, best match should come back with services right above desktop app. I'm going to left click on that. Give it a second to load up here. Okay, so now in the services window, once it's loaded up, you want to go locate a service by the name of plug and play. So I'm going to scroll down here. See it right here. I'm going to double click on it. And then you want to set startup type, click inside this drop down menu to automatic. Left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that should be about it at this point. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.